Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of WP the Podcast. I'm David Blackman. And I'm Tim Streifler. Today, we're going to talk about how you can easily change unsecure links to secure links or HTTP to HTTPS in WordPress. First of all, you want everything on HTTPS because Google dings you if it's not a secure website. You're getting... Now, what percentage of the algorithm actually is that? It's probably super small, but why would you not want it? Because, you know, secure an SSL certificate is free and they don't cost anything. And a lot of, a lot of them are set up in this day and age right off the bat. So making your customers and site visitors and stuff feel <laughs> comfortable when they come to your site because they know it's secure is a big deal. So, um, you may have set your site up on HTTP and not known about it. And there's two ways that two things that you're going to want to do if that's the case and you're changing your site from here to there. First one is you want to put in place redirects in the event that somebody accidentally types out your website, HTTP colon backslash backslash whatever your domain.com is. And you want that to automatically redirect to your site, which is secure. And that's really the only redirect that you're going to need. Now, if you've set up your site and you've got a lot of content and stuff in there, Tim's going to talk about how you can solve that problem. Yeah, absolutely. And then one thing to add to what David said is uh, making sure that in your WordPress settings, that your, uh, your site is listed as HTTPS. Correct. And yeah. so, um, because if it's not, then anything, any new pages and stuff, you're going to have to just endlessly be re redirecting stuff. And so yeah. if it's <laughs> as long as HTTP, your, your website address, your home URL and your WordPress URL, you know, there's two spots to make sure that it's HTTPS colon slash slash your domain. Um, and then, so yeah, David mentioned redirecting just all links, HTTP, HTTPS, but then there's the issue of uh, images, your site pulling in images from your media library that are referencing HTTP links, right? And um, if you have a, when you have an SSL certificate on your site, if you don't have all, if it's pulling in content that is HTTP, you're going to get a mixed content error and, and your site's not going to show as fully secure because it's bringing in assets that are uh, from an unsecured domain, even if it's your same domain. And so the way that you fix that, there, there's there's a, a way to do it with a plugin, but we don't recommend that because if you just install a plugin that fixes the mixed content errors, it's a temporary fix. You can never deactivate that plugin because it's basically just masking it. Um, the way that we recommend is to actually fix all the links in your database that reference HTTP and change them to HTTPS. And you do that with a really handy plugin called Better Search Replace. I have a link to in the, sh in the show notes. But basically what you do is you type in HTTP colon slash slash yourdomain.com as the find. And then for the replace, you do the same thing, but HTTPS colon slash slash your domain, right? And then you you basically do a find and replace. So any, any places in the database that references the HTTP version of your domain, it's automatically going to replace it which, with the HTTPS. So a couple of things, you're gonna be customizing the database. This can screw things up if you mess up. So you wanna make sure that you have a backup in case something just gets wildly screwed up. And then you can also do a dry run and search and replace. And it's gonna tell you how many things were updated. So you wanna make sure um, that if you have a, if your domain HTTP in the find has a trailing slash at the beginning of it, like for example, you know, wpgears.com forward slash, then what you're replacing with also needs that forward slash. So you, ha you got to make sure that you're, you're, you're <laughs> replacing apples with apples, right? Yeah. Just, <laughs> just with secure apples. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So, but again, you want to make sure you have a backup because anytime you're editing anything in the database, you can break your site. Um, and so you need to make sure you have a backup. So it's a little technical, but that is the best way to do it. That way you don't have to keep an extra plugin on your site just to temporarily fix something. It'll permanently fix everything in your database and then you'll be good to go. Awesome. 
And it's not as scary as Tim made it out sound to be. It's <laughs> better, better search and replace is a pretty easy plugin to use and stuff. Yeah. So, it's, it's super yeah. easy to use. You just yeah. have to be careful. Yeah. If just you, be careful. Yeah. Follow yeah. some good, some good uh, best practices and stuff. Tomorrow we've got another good topic is Divi a bloated WordPress theme. You have to tune in tomorrow to find out till tomorrow. We'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.